you have to do nursery school. You cannot let nursery school do you. Amen. Amen. You know what inspires me? Fearlessness, drive. I hate lazy people. Bob, stay in school. Don't you ever be lazy. Don't you ever complain about hard work. Work hard and pay for. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Denasia. <laughs> but you can call me Nay and that is no E. So this today's video is going to be, I believe the fifth or sixth video wow look at us y'all in my um nursing school diaries so this week um i don't have school all week amen because um last week was our last week of lab and i passed my head to toe so i don't have to make that up and then um also because we don't have clinical this week because on Thursday, which is our normal clinical day, is the 4th of July. So, obviously, like, we have the 4th of July off. And then, what else? Yeah. So, I'm super excited about that. Today is Tuesday, and I'm actually about to go ahead and get ready because I'm going to see Rob49 and Skilla Baby with my friend Khalees. Y'all saw I, when I went to her um when i went out with her for her birthday a couple videos back but yeah i'm just about to go ahead and get ready i'm actually running behind on time because i don't know why i thought it was four instead of five so i literally was just sitting in my bed like just just vibing with eye patches on like girl what is you doing but it's all good because my hair is basically done. So I just need to do my makeup and then I can go. I'm my bad bitch. I'm pretty than a motherfucker. Hawk me looking okay. Yeah. She can she fucking with me. Is this bitch okay? <laughs> he said he ain't fucking around. I look at him like okay. I used to be. I bought you. I bought you. I bought you. I'm pretty than a motherfucker. Hawk me looking okay. She think that she fucking with me. Is this bitch okay? He said he ain't fucking around. I look at him like okay. I used to be. Down south, bad bitch, discreet shit, so ratchet. Call me JT, aka the soul snatcher. Okay. I'm with a booster, scholar, and a pole dancer. Pussy nigga, call my phone, he won't. Alright, y'all, I'm finna get ready to go, but let me show y'all the fit. So, this is the outfit. It's this like little skirt set from Fashion Nova with these little like hoops, bag. I think this bag is from Fashion Nova too. And then Rick's on the feet. And I'm just wearing my gold jewelry. But yeah, I need to get ready to go. So I'm finna go right now. Hey guys, so long time no see. So today is currently Saturday and it's like 2.30 p.m. And I literally have not talked to y'all in days. Like I didn't talk to y'all on the 4th of July. I didn't talk to y'all no days, but it's because I literally haven't done anything. Like I told y'all, this was the first week since I started nursing school on May 13th that they haven't been just dragging me through the trenches and that i've had like that i've just been able to chill like not even lie i've just been able to chill like i literally been doing nothing this week but sleeping and i know a lot of people are probably gonna be like girl you want a break and you sleeping yes yes i am because i literally do not get to sleep i don't get to sleep and it's honestly so sad <laughs> I don't get to sleep and it's always something to do it's always something going on so i literally have just been chillaxing 
just been chillaxing but today i've decided to come out of my cocoon because today is my lennox's birthday if y'all don't know who lennox is that's my little cousin and he's turning two and i'm probably gonna cry because i just love lennox so bad like y'all i'm not gonna lie before lennox was born I really thought I didn't have a maternal bone in my body. I did not see how people were not annoyed by kids. But that baby right there. Like, I love his whole life, okay? Like, I would do anything for that baby. So, yeah. To my future kids, if y'all are watching this, you have Lennox to thank for your existence. Because if he wouldn't have existed, you wouldn't have. <laughs> Because I wouldn't have done it. I'm sorry. I just wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't have done it. But yeah, shout out to my Lenny Pooh. He's turning two today. And we're having his birthday party at um, Great Wolf Lodge. I'm clearly not swimming, as y'all can tell. I'm just there for, for the vibes. I'm going to just sit around and chat and talk with my peoples. I may bring a swimming suit, a swimsuit just in case. I, for some reason, decide to get in, but I doubt it because my hair looks a mess right now. But after I do it and stuff, I'm not gonna want to mess it up. I'm so happy we have this little break this week because honestly, this is gonna give me the 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 strength to propel my way through these last few weeks of nursing school. I'm saying last few weeks. What is this? This is week. I think this is week eight. Week nine will start on Monday. And we have 13 weeks. So we're pretty good. A pretty good way done. And the last week is literally only finals. So I'm just really, really, really excited to be done. <laughs> If y'all are catching my drift, I'm really excited to be done. I really did enjoy my break, like, a lot. I enjoyed it a lot, actually. But I also have not just been being lazy all week because um, I still have been doing work because I have a test on Tuesday. <laughs> At the end of the day, <laughs> I have a test Tuesday. So I have been, like, watching lecture videos and stuff, but... I haven't been showing y'all and all honestly because I just haven't been feeling like um I just haven't been feeling like vlogging or picking up my camera and I feel like that type of stuff shows like yeah I could have forced myself to do it but y'all if y'all have watched the other videos in the series y'all know that I'm a really like upbeat and like not bubbly I definitely would describe myself as bubbly but like I kind of am like I'm a very kind of upbeat person so to me I feel like like I'm not gonna be fake if I don't feel like recording I'm not going to because you could tell and the content is literally just not as good because you don't feel like doing it so if I don't feel like being on camera I'm not going to because who gonna whoop me now y'all might jump me I don't know but um yeah i'm i'm feeling back in my mode i'm feeling good i'm ready to really just attack this last half of the semester baby academic weapon mode she's activated because um i always say this but you have to do nursery school you cannot let nursing school do you amen amen oh let's talk about next semester so um sometime this week i don't know i got my placements and schedule for next semester j2 which is kind of insane do i love it not really I kind of hate it but it could always be worse okay it could be worse and by worse i could have weekend clinicals but my clinical days okay so next semester i'm taking psych and med surge 
the whole semester so i'm gonna have psych and med surge the whole semester and then i have two eight week courses so i'm gonna have one then the other and those courses are nursing research and um nursing of older adults so yeah um i'm not sure which i'm gonna have first i kind of don't know i think it is we just we just won't see until we register for classes which one we have first but i really don't care honestly which one i have first um all classes kind of suck so it really doesn't matter but um so for psych i have psych and med surge the whole semester but as far as clinical goes my psych clinicals are on monday and they're at separate locations my psych clinical is at monday in like a at like a facility it's not at a hospital it's at like a psychiatric facility and it's on mondays but i only have that clinical three times so i'm gonna have it three mondays and then i won't have that clinical anymore so my mondays will be off after those first three weeks of the semester and then once i do my three weeks of psych i'm gonna start med surge on fridays which i'm kind of pissy about i'm not gonna lie because i just didn't want to have clinicals on fridays but it could be worse because some people have saturdays so it could always be worse which like yeah so basically my schedule next semester is gonna be um class on tuesdays i have med surge from 8 to 11 on wednesdays i have psych from 8 to 11 and then i'm gonna have whichever class i um am taking so either geriatrics or nursing research at that time i'm gonna have that class um online the time period is supposed to be after psych from one to five but i'm gonna take it online <laughs> okay it's gonna be online I don't have time. I don't. So yeah, I'm super duper excited. Not to start classes, but to be done. <laughs> That's how I look at it. Every class I take is just putting me closer and closer and closer to being a nurse and to being done with nursing school. So bring it on. Every class I welcome you with open arms come here baby um as far as how i'm gonna study i kind of feel like the study method i have now kind of eats down i'm not gonna die um i feel like it eats so i honestly don't think i'm gonna change anything but honestly after that first test i'm specifically talking about med search for psych i don't know but um after that first test we'll know <laughs> We'll know if what we're doing is working or if changes need to be made. And we'll just go from there. All I'm going to plan is what weekends I'm going to go see my boyfriend because uh, we're going to be long distance. Because he's playing football in Oklahoma. We're going to be long distance. So I just need to, I'm waiting to get the syllabus to see like what weekends I'm gonna be able to go to his games and like go see him and stuff. But yeah, I'm really excited. I just keep thinking about it like, in December, I'm gonna be halfway through nursing school. And once you're halfway, you're basically done. And like once December comes, y'all know it's, it's summertime in an instant. And once it's summertime, I'm gonna be graduating in August. So like basically, if you really wanna add it up, I'm basically done with nursing school basically give me the diploma and then from there like i can really just move like i can go see the world like i can travel i can do whatever i want i don't think i'm gonna go back to school but even if i don't <laughs> i don't have to because you know why i got that degree i actually have two degrees because y'all know um last vlog i got my associates of science in the mail and i opened it with y'all who oh, no. Two degrees. And 19. Clocky. Clock. That's he. Because honestly, 
I ended up liking the nursing a lot more than I thought I was. But I think to I honestly think everything that I thought I wasn't gonna like about nursing, it's all still true. But I think it's very dependent on the hospital that I end up working at. Like, I'm sorry. I'm not working in those treacherous conditions that most nurses be working under. I will literally be bald by the time that I'm 30. I can't have that, okay? Y'all not gonna stress me out and y'all are not gonna have me put my license that I work very, very hard for in the race. That aren't like, mm-mm. That's not gonna work for me. Mm-mm, baby. So, for me personally, what's gonna happen is I'm going to... If I have to take a pay cut to work at the hospital that I've been doing my clinicals at, it's literally the, one of the best hospitals, if not the best, in Texas. I will take a pay cut because I heard they don't pay that good, especially for new grads. That's what my nurses were telling me and they all still work there because the conditions that they work under are just chef's kiss. Like, they're beautiful, beautiful conditions optimal work environment so you can really just tell that they're that they're everyone they're just very supported you know they're able to actually do and enjoy their jobs because they're not understand the ratios are good like um everything is just so nice there and i love that hospital so honestly I'm going to look everywhere. I already know that when I graduate. But at the end of the day. I will be working with that hospital. Or just one like it. It necessarily doesn't have to be that specific hospital. But one that just treats their nurses like they want to keep them. You know. About because. I also, everybody keeps saying like, oh, like, yeah, like, are you going to try to get into the ICU as a new bride? Um, please don't ask me those questions. The only question you should be asking me is how I'm studying for the next test. I can't, I can't, and I used to be the person that liked to like really plan my whole life out, but my life has went nothing according to the plan I've had, so I'm giving up on plans. Please don't ask me questions. As far as I can see, I can only see as far as that degree in August. That's all I got for y'all. If that's not enough for you, I don't know what to tell you because that's all I have. Literally though, that's all I have the capacity to care about, think about any of it like it's all just too much it's too much hey babes so let me tell y'all it's why i went to the water park and came right back home but i'm going back because i didn't wear a swimsuit because i just got my hair done right like for the debutante last week and i'm going to houston next weekend so i'm like I can't mess up my hair so I'm not swimming. But my grandma said she'll pay for me to get my hair done again. So I'm gonna go back. But right now I'm just waiting on my boyfriend to come so that um he can ride with me and go with me. But while I wait on him, I'm gonna get some work done. So I guess I'll just set y'all up while I while I while I, while I do some work. Nicaragua, I thought you was Persian love Are we turning up or are we wasting time? Girl, don't waste my time, you know I'm partying take my hair down oh the freak 
obviously I had to take my hair down because I went swimming yesterday so I just took my hair down it's still this white stuff is from the quick weave but I'm gonna wash my hair because I gotta go to my friend birthday party today and I can't go like this Okay, I just got out the shower. I'm trying to decide kind of what I want to do with my hair. So I'm in between two styles. I'm in between. So I kind of want to do this hairstyle. It's cute. Rocks. But she's from Nicaragua Thought she was Persian love Are we turning up Or are we wasting time Girl don't waste my time It's 7.21 And I have to get ready to go But this is the fit It's really chill Cause we're just going to the Cheesecake Factory But it's my friend's almost birthday She was in like Maybe one or two videos ago I'm just wearing my Jordans. It's super duper chill though. It's just, um, I'm wearing my A Girl set for my business with this oversized denim jacket that I got in like middle school from Sheen. This is when I was obsessed with like huge clothing. And then these Jordans. Yeah. That's it. That's all. It's, it's really not much to it. I think I'm gonna take y'all with me though. Cause y'all deserve to be there. Hi vloggy. They just saw you, they don't wanna talk. This is just open up the camera. Y'all this is last Sunday. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. <laughs> yeah. For you daughter. <laughs> That's me, buddy. <laughs> As you celebrate your birthday, today's put into words that feeling too self express, like how special you Yes, I am. <laughs> Thank you, daughter. Thank you. What's this is say, y'all? For you, daughter. <laughs> Ooh. <I'm not laughs> What'd you get? currently 9 34 on sunday i mean on monday my test is tomorrow and yeah i'm about to do my memory aid y'all know how this goes um yeah so we're just gonna go buy what's gonna be cash go sit down we're just gonna go by what's gonna be most to least on the test. And then we're gonna go from there. So we're gonna start with nutrition and then we're gonna go to fluid, um, fluid electrolytes and acid base. So it is currently 9.35 and I wanna be done with the nutrition by 10.05. Okay y'all, I'm 10 minutes behind because it is 10 14 and i just finished nutrition so we're gonna have acid base done by i'm gonna give myself 15 minutes honestly i'm gonna have acid base done by 10 30. it is currently 10 27 and i'm done with acid base and now i'm about to do altered fluid and electrolyte imbalance and let me see how long this part is. Um, I should be done with this by about. We're gonna give it. We're gonna give it 11. It is currently 10:52, and I just finished 
fluid and electrolyte imbalances. Hey y'all, so it's currently 11.28, not because I'm slow AF, but because my mom got me distracted watching this show on Netflix. Blame her. But I finished rest and sleep, nutrition, acid base, and fluid imbalances. And I'm about to do values and ethics next. Hey y'all, so it's currently 12.17 and I just finished all of my memory aid except for my last part that I have left is sensory functioning. So I'm gonna put sensory functioning right here. Hopefully it only take up like half of this or a little bit. And then tomorrow I'm gonna wake up at seven. Y'all know I wake up at seven for my test at nine. And I spend two hours literally just studying and watching Nexus Nursing videos. And then anything that Nexus Nursing points out that I don't know or that's not clicking, I write it on my memory aid. But yeah, I'm about to finish sensory functioning so I can be in the bed and sleep. And when I, I mean in the bed and sleep by one. All right, y'all. I'm done with my memory aid. I have a lot of space left for when I wake up tomorrow and start going over stuff. So... I'm super excited to be done with this test. This is test three out of four, plus the CAP exam. CAP exam is the next foundation exam I have. So I have my assessment exams next to next Monday, and then the Tuesday after that, I have my CAP exam. And then after that, I don't have no exam. And then the weekend, like the week after that, is just studying for finals. And the week after that is finals. Amen. And I was supposed to go to Houston this weekend because, um, like, just to go with my best friend. But they're having that hurricane. So we pushed it back to after my CAP exam. So that's going to be, like, that last little motivation I need to get, like, to study for my finals. Yeah. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. Much love. Whenever you're using the Snellic charm to measure the patient's visual acuity, where do you have patient stand? 20 feet away. 20 feet away. Now we stand 20 feet away from the chart that they're reading. Remember, perfect vision is what? 20 feet away. But she's from Nicaragua. I thought she was Persian love. Are we turning up? Boy, we wasting time Girl, don't waste my time You know I'm partying I don't just wanna chill With you, oh, 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 oh no I wanna turn up on I wanna turn you on I wanna be with you That's the least I'ma do Ooh. Hey, y'all so, it's currently 8.53. My test is at 9, so it's in, oh, 8.54 now, so it's in 6 minutes. Honestly, I'm feeling good about this test. Which, that, honestly, that gives me a jump scare, I'm not going to lie, because the last time I felt good about the test, when I tell you I did not chew, I didn't chew, I didn't nibble, I didn't eat, I didn't do nothing. Literally, I did not chew at all. But... I feel good about this test though because I, I think I figured it out, y'all. I think I cracked the code. But we'll y'all will see in about shoot about 10, 15 seconds. I'll see you in about an hour. Okay. The memory aids are so T. Now y'all wanna find out next semester we don't get a memory aid. Gagged the hell out of me. What do you mean? What do you mean no memory aid? Then they have the audacity to put on there talking about some for the second exam, we can have a, a a three by five note card. Now you tell me what the hell am I gonna put on a note card? Like, no, but that's a, that's a story, but that's, a uh, hey, <laughs> hey, that's my battle to fight in about a month, not right now. 
but I had just went through and watched some Nexus nursing videos and just added like some more stuff. I'm not gonna lie, I could have added more. I could have. I could have added more, but I didn't because I just didn't. Oh, um, maybe I should add this stuff that I had screenshotted yesterday. Let's see. Mm. Let's see, do I have that on here? The three methods of value clarification. Oh yeah, I got them. Oh, I need the difference between malpractice and negligence. And I think that's it. All right. Bye y'all. I'm about to take my test. Pray for me. Okay y'all, so I got an, I got 86. My A streak is over. But, I mean, it is what it is, to be honest. I didn't study that much for this test. I feel like I got what I worked for. And honestly, I'm okay with that. Because I had a nice, relaxing week. As y'all can tell. But, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And tune in next week. Because I'll be back with another weekly vlog. And follow me on Instagram. And all my other social media platforms. Yeah.